welcome back to another tutorial from Xenotrust Tips. Um, I'm going to show you how to edit the product page. Okay, so basically, what I exactly what what I, what I want to show you is if I click on Edit for this product, um, you see that there are a lot of options here. Now I'm going to show you how to start removing some of the options you don't want. And first off, we're going to start with these options from the bottom. So the others options. I'm show you how to take out these options from your page um, in a very short while now. All right, so let's go to it. So first off, you need to locate your, um, you need to go to your C panel, okay? Or whatever um, server which you host your website, okay? So, um, so you should see something like this, just a minute. All right, so you should see something like this. So WP admin, WP content, and includes. Okay, so first off, go into your WP content folder. By the way, this is a local server. I'm doing this tutorial, so that's why it looks like it's a folder on my computer. Okay, um, so go into your WP content, and then go into your themes. And then you should have a child theme for whatever kind of theme you use for your multi-vendor website. So in my case, I'm using Electro and I have Electro child theme. Okay, I'm going to open it up. And as you can see, I created a folder named Dokkan. Okay, and then within this Dokkan, I copied um, Dokkan products and Dokkan dashboard folder from the original Dokkan theme. So let me show you where I copied this from. So um, if I go back to the WP content and I go to plugins, and I go to Dokkan Lights. Within Dokkan Lights, there is a templates folder. So if I go into the templates folder, I would see the Dokkan products folder, which is this. Okay. So it's this folder I copied into my themes, my child theme rather. Okay. So this is the products folder I copied into the child theme. So what I'll do now is I'll open this folder in my code editor and show you what you need to modify. So um, this is my code editor, okay? And basically what I'm going to modify is within the Electro Child theme, there's a Dokkan and then there's a products folder. Within this products folder, there's this PHP file named others.php, okay? So now this is the code that is responsible for this others, uh, others option aspect of your um, product page, okay? So now what I'll do is I will come to the line one of this code and then I would add this simple line of code. Now essentially what I did is I commented out this page, okay? So um, a less than sign, an exclamation mark, and two dashes. That's how you comment stuff out in HTML. So basically that's what I did here. And I did not bother to close this up because there is already a closing comment tag here at the end of the page. So essentially all you need to do is just add this um, short line of code to line one. So the beginning of the code, just add it there and then save. Now let's go back and refresh the page. So watch out, this is what we want to get rid of, others option. So I'll refresh the page. And let's go and see. So as you can see, there is RMA policy and then the others option has gone out of the flow of the page. So basically that's how you um, can get rid of that last section on your Dokkan um, page. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next one. I'm doing another one immediately. So if you use Dokkan, subscribe to my channel. If you use WordPress, subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in programming, subscribe to my channel. All right, see you later, guys.